Benchmark wireline trucks are engineered to handle a variety of equipment and drum combinations. They are designed and manufactured in-house to customer requirements. In this video, the control systems in the truck allow the operator to easily select which drum will be used on each job, an E-line or an S-line drum. Inside the cab, several banks of switches on the DC power panel will be used. A yellow light will indicate which circuits are turned on. First, turn on the 24-volt DC main switch for each bank that will be used. Then turn on the needed circuits for each function. For winch control, turn on the first bank of switches. This will power the operator control panel. Turn on the fourth bank to start the hydraulic oil cooler. Next, go to the control panel, and then go to the HMI panel. Press the menu button. This part of the menu, has the winch selection controls. Depending on the job, press the button for either the E-line or the S-line drum. The green light will indicate which drum is online. The joystick now has control of the selected drum. The HMI also has a drum speed controller. After the drum has been selected, the operator can run it either in a low speed range or a high speed range. The high speed setting is for rapid movement up or down the hole. The large drum has a maximum speed of 155 revolutions per minute. The small drum has a maximum speed of 260 revolutions per minute. As the designated depth is being approached, the operator can switch to low speed on the fly by pressing the low speed button. If the neutral light comes on, that indicates a system fault. Additionally, for very precise drum movement, the speed trim dial provides dynamic joystick scaling. It allows the operator to reduce drum movement in relation to the joystick, from a regular 100% of normal movement down to 1%, or, for a given amount of joystick movement, it would change corresponding drum movement from 1 meter down to 1 centimeter. The drums also have a parking brake system, which is often used while in transport. When the drum has stopped, pressing the red parking brake button on the operator console will secure the drum. To release the brake, press the button again. Should there be a loss of power to the controller, the parking brake will automatically engage. 